How to Protect Your Business Online It is imperative to have legal documents to protect your business. Without legal documents to cover the running of your business, you could go bankrupt, your business could collapse through negligence or through customer complaints and claims. Below is a concise list of legal documents that are necessary for protecting your business. Point 1. Standard Document Policy This document is primarily about visitors' information, how to collect and use their information. The document should clearly state that you will not disclose customers' information to third parties and that all information will be treated confidentially. If you do not have this document, you will be liable to encounter problems not only from customers but from other agencies like the Federal Trade Commission. Point 2. Comply to terms of disclaimer, the document is important because it is about protecting yourself. If you put a limitation on how much you are responsible to your website users within the document you will find, a Eurocent use of website a Eurocent licenses a Eurocent limitation of liability a Eurocent miscellaneous items etc. For example, customers enjoy stating their views and opinions. However, if they decide to accept the input on your website, then you have the responsibility to make it known that these views are not yours, but those of your visitors. Point 3. Affiliate Agreement Policy This legal document is required by those engaged in an affiliate program. It contains the terms and conditions which must be adhered to at all times by your affiliates. As with all legal documents, your affiliate will have to sign the agreement before commencing the business with you. In the event that an affiliate does not comply with the agreement, then you will either cancel or freeze their membership. Point 4. Unwanted spam Spamming is a common activity whereby internet users take liberty of sending email messages or unwanted mail to others who have not asked for it. Spamming also includes the posting of ads in newsgroups forums where such activity is not allowed. It is important to recognize and know that you should only advertise in forums and newsgroups you have permission or if you share the same topic with other users. IT is also wrong to advertise in chat rooms or message boards. Technically it is not permitted because it is regarded as spam. Where a no spam agreement is in place, it simply means that you have an anti-spam policy. It also notes that you will not send any unsolicited emails to advertise your goods, services, or programs without permission from users. Music